Namaste. This is a short video on how to breathe because you would actually be surprised how many people don't breathe properly. And I think what most people don't realize is when you don't breathe properly, all you're doing is recycling toxic air through your body. So, you know, it's like drinking sewage water into your body every single day, which is why we're so prone to diseases, depression, anxiety, anything that fits into the category of autoimmune disease. Because the first, the first layer of healthy breath, mind, body actually is your breath. So please watch this video before you do any of the classes, any of the pranayamas, because if you're not breathing properly, you are actually getting none of the benefits of yoga. You're just doing an exercise. And even that, not very well. So first thing, always breathe through your nose, never breathe through your mouth. Our body is actually built to breathe through our nose. I will do another video about that. <laughs> but just know there are a lot of reasons we breathe through our nose and the whole mechanism is based so that we are taking in the maximum amount of oxygen and removing the maximum amount of carbon dioxide. When you breathe through your nose, you don't just breathe through your nose, you breathe through your throat. So for example, if I just breathe through my nose, that's pretty much as far as I can get. If I include the base of my throat, the expansion is a lot bigger. When I say breathe through the base of your throat, if you look at my finger, when I inhale, the finger is going to go in. When I exhale, the finger is going to go out. It almost makes the sound like an ocean. And when I do my breathing exercises, I actually envision me riding to the top of a wave when I inhale and coming back down to the bottom when I exhale. So nose, throat, if you can't, it takes a while for people to practice this. So in the beginning, just put your finger here. Imagine there's a hole here and you're sucking in the air through the hole and you're pushing the air out from the hole. Another way to do it is to imagine that your hand is a mirror. So when we want to fog up a mirror, we often inhale and then we go. But now we do the same thing with our mouth closed and out of the throat. So it's perfect. Step one. Step two, from the belly. We have this habit of when we inhale of pushing the belly in. No, no, no. <laughs> when you inhale, you always want to start with a gentle expansion of your belly. When you expand the belly, you lower the most important muscle when it comes to breathing, your diaphragm here. As the diaphragm lowers, it creates all of this space for your lungs to expand and bring in the maximum amount of oxygen and then release the maximum amount of carbon dioxide. So if you watch my hand when I breathe in, I don't push it, I don't use muscle, I don't try and expand it all the way out, I just gently fill it so it's... Now, I wanna move that breath up to my chest now. So what we do is we inhale through the nose and the throat, we gently expand the belly and then we expand the chest. So let's forget about the belly for a second and let's do the chest. When we're breathing in through the chest, you want your ribs to move out and up. You wanna fill your underarms, possibly the top of your head without doing this. And using your back muscles and you're getting very tired from doing long breaths and long exhales and if it's exhausting you you're not doing it right so when you breathe in through the chest it's notice how my ribs move out and up when i exhale my ribs move down and in so the way it works is when you inhale you gently expand the belly you expand the chest, you fill the underarms, your clavicle here will lift because when you're breathing, you're using muscles here, here, your clavicle, the muscles between your ribs and your core muscles. So it looks like this. Notice it's at the end of my exhale that my belly goes in and up. So when you first start to breathe, inhale, expand the belly, the chest, fill the head, take a pause, hold the breath in relaxation, not in resistance like this, and then exhale from the top back down to the bottom, release the chest, release the belly. At the end, squeeze your core a little to bring your diaphragm back into place. 
Your normal everyday breath should be a smaller version of this. Your normal everyday breath should look like this. What it is for most people is this. This hand, the belly isn't moving at all and you're predominantly beating from your chest. If your breath is from your chest, it's fast, it's shallow, it's erratic, it's not constant, then your body is sitting in stress. Because remember, everything in us, from our thoughts, our so many big buses on a very small island, it's only 16 by 32 kilometers. So strange. Always an odd thing for me when I see a big bus, small island. Anyway, I digress. Um, what was I saying? Ah, yes. So when you're anything on you, for example, your breath, your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, they're all things that are telling you what's going on inside of you. So observe them. Don't get entangled in them. Don't like hug them, get engaged, attached to them. Just observe. So with your breath, when you're stopped somewhere, instead of being on a telephone, just put one hand here, one hand here, and just notice what your breath is telling you about you. When you do yogi breaths in a class, as you inhale, inhale expanding the belly, the chest. Use your inhale to lift you. Use the exhale to come down when you're coming into forward fold, so you're lowering yourself down. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a bus station here. Um, yes, so... I've completely forgotten my train of thought. Okay, I'm back. Um, when, you're, when you're doing a yoga class, make sure your inhale is the same count as your exhale. So if you're gonna inhale for three, exhale for three. Remember, perfect pose is when your breathing is constant, your focus is on a breath, and you can be in a position, whatever pose you're in comfortably for 10 to 15 minutes. If all three are in place, you are in a perfect pose. If you're in a pose and you're breathing one for one, you're too deep into that pose. Normally, as a minimum, you should be able to inhale for three, exhale for three, and you can go higher. Always remember as rules when you're finally, when you're lifting into something, you're breathing in. When you're coming down into something, you're breathing out. When you're stretching, use the exhale to relax the muscle. It's easier to stretch something when it's relaxed and use the inhale to lift you and fill you. So, you know, remember, breath is the thing that moves energy through your body. The pose is the thing that opens your body, realigns your body, unravels the energy channels so that we can use breath to move energy through it. So that's how you should breathe through your classes and how you should breathe through life. And yes, that's a very short video on how to breathe. Namaste, enjoy the classes. And I'm not editing these videos, so sometimes I'll get a little lost because there'll be a distraction or a bus, but, you know, it's just part of hanging out with me. <laughs>